So here we have a food puzzle toy. Jericho's already trying to get into his treats. So I'm gonna fill these. I'm gonna let him watch me so I can see if he gets it a little quicker. This is a little bit of an advanced toy. Just gonna fill little pieces and vary it up. So these are green tripe bits. These are freeze dried minnows. Super stinky. All right, let's see if he gets it. <laughs> what do I do? Look. Oh. <laughs> you give up already? You give up already, Jericho? Yeah. All right, I'll expose one. See what he does. There you go, Jericho. Mmm. Yummy. So he knows that they move. Good boy, Jericho. You got that one. Kill it. Mmm. Is there another one? Oh. Almost. Good boy, Jericho. See, that pawing action is good for mental stimulation because he's having to use his senses. That's exactly why I put this man down. Just in case he knocks it out. So anyway, pawing at food and hunting this is a great way to simulate the hunting experience in indoors using these food puzzle toys. This one's made for dogs, but as you can see, cats can use it too. So yeah, this is a good way to make your cat work for his food. Great for, <clears throat> great for overeaters. This will slow them down, and then they won't scarf and barf. This is a mixture of wood and plastic. Easy to clean. I don't think it would work. Well, it might work well for wet food. Right now I'm using freeze dried 
treats. <gasps> Ooh, look at that, Jericho. Most of these puzzle toys are better for dried stuff, which stinks for us raw feeders, but at least we can feed freeze-dried and dehydrated meats. Oh, good job, Jericho. Where did it go? You already got that one? Oh, I forgot to put it in those. Whoops. Here you go, Jericho. You get that one for free. Because he figured it out. Crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch. Now you gotta figure it out. Look. Ooh. Oh, good job, Jericho. He's getting it. You gotta get this one first. You got it. Uh, keep going. You almost had it, Jerry. Come back. Here, I'll make it easy for you. Look. Look. You got those, look. Jericho. <laughs> you know how to move them over there. Look, look, down here. There you go. Get that fishy. Oh, there you go, good. Mmm, nice and crunchy. There you go. Use those paws.
Look at Gleam. <laughs> What's the dog saying, Jericho? What's he saying? <laughs> you still got more. Look. Ooh, good one, Jericho. What about these? Too difficult? Jericho, look. Look what I did. See if he gets it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Push it out of the way. There's a piece in there. You got that one. I'm so sorry. Oops. Well, now you get two in that one. Now, another thing I want to mention here is obviously cats don't like when their whiskers touch things. So. This is just an exercise that you do maybe once a day, once every few days, change it up with different types of foraging mats and feeders. Obviously this is too shallow for cat's whiskers, but Jericho enjoyed it. He had fun. Oh, you missed one. You missed two. Look Jericho. What's in this? Now obviously this one's an intermediate level and it's also meant for dogs not that dogs are smarter but so you work your way up use this use a an easy one then you can transition to more difficult once your cat figures it out i mean it's pretty much game over but that's why you should get multiples and Change it up. Right, Jericho? Now he's going to clean himself for half an hour. <laughs> Check out the products in the description below. Thanks for watching.